Like I said, my mornings had been spoken for for the last several weeks, but not last week. And then the U.S. had to go and have an election. Now, I'm Canadian. I live in Canada, so, you know, close by. But as a rule, I don't really talk about American politics, and I'm not really going to talk about it here. I think, though, that the what is has been demonstrated is kind of an it's an information problem that i've been thinking about for a while to the extent that there's information out there that is like objectively good or bad uh and you know if you act on that information then you get bad outcomes whereas you act on good information you get good outcomes it's kind of like you know, is the car in the street when I try to cross the road? Uh, whether whether the walking man uh, signal is up or not. Um, and somebody was reminding me yesterday that the signal is important because it's about norms. But the car is important because it's the actual hazard. And the car doesn't care necessarily. It's not connected to the walking man signal in a... In a, in a other than a discretionary way. And the way that information operates in a, in a society is, you know, there's stuff that's about norms and then there's stuff that's about actual hazards out there in the environment. And there are things that you can believe like the world is big enough that you can believe the wrong thing and it it won't matter to you. Uh, for instance, uh, you know, flat earthers, right? Like you could be a flat earther. You could live a healthy, prosperous life. You could get on airplanes. It doesn't matter. You know, it, it'll, it won't affect you. The only time being a flat earther, I mean, it might affect you if you were a you know, an engineer in an aerospace or something like that, um, but, uh, you know, or a physicist or something. But, you know, for the most part, like, being a flat earther, like, is not, like, bad enough unless you, you know, try to prove it, like, you know, and then you kill yourself, like, what everybody who tries to prove it does. Um, because it's, it's false, and that is exactly the kind of thing that uh, is demonstrative of, you know, what having, following bad information does. A similar thing is um, vaccines. Uh, so, you know, you could be an anti-vaxxer and nothing happens to you. Nothing happens to your friends, you know, or, you know, there's at least a rationalization for it. Nothing happens to your family. You know, you could be a staunch anti-vaxxer and, 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 you know, nothing bad happens because the, the problem is sort of diffuse enough that, that it, you know, it doesn't, it just by chance, it just doesn't affect you. Likewise fluoridation in water or you know what other batshit things are they trying to uh, tear apart oh um like uh <laughs> was it food safety i mean it's going to be interesting because like all of these things that are sort of they protect against tail risks if all of those go away then effectively what's going to happen is that people are going to be getting in a lot more accidents uh you know where they were preventable but it's going to sort of, you know, stuff is going to just get stochastically worse. And so I see sort of two problems. I mean, number one, just having access to good information is going to get tougher. Number two, again, there are effects where if you have good information and, you know, a million people have bad information or, you know, hundreds of million people have bad information, it's kind of like, you know, a hundred million stupids make a smart where the fact that like they kind of almost like spin it up into, into its own reality. And so, you know, effectively what I'm seeing is I'm seeing a sort of schism or bifurcation of effectively the, the realities you've got like real reality, which, you know, where the car is in the street. And then you've got like QAnon reality or whatever. And it's going to be, it's going to be ugly uh, in the next several years to tease all that apart. Like, I don't see this 
next several years being good for anybody except for maybe I mean even anybody even the people that it's supposed to the handful of people that it's supposed to be good for I think there's going to be something else on the other side of the balance sheet that's going to that's going to you know eat into that anyway gonna finish my coffee <laughs>